Hi. So this is my Aunt Effie, and I'm going to talk to you about an awesome book today called Making Contact. I have to return this book to the library today, so I'm parked outside the library, and I have another one in there to pick up that is on hold, so I'm excited about that. It's always so fun to get another book. This is the first edition of Making Contact. It was written in 2021. The book is actually an anthology of UFO disclosure and alien visitation people. Um, it, it's by well-known authors in the field. Um, some of these authors are um, chroniclers and investigators of the subject and everybody in the book is from the western world so there is a chapter written by my favorite contributor in this field his name is john mack professor john mack he died in a car accident in 2004 but he was able to get two books written before he left us and i'm just going to read a little bit out of his chapter and so I'm gonna flip over to page 139 and I'll be reading chapter 2 and 3 I believe we need to consider another frontier which I am only going to be able to touch upon briefly here namely what makes us so attached to a particular worldview why do we cling so tightly to a world view in general and the materialist paradigm in particular? What makes our world view so fundamental to our existence? I do not believe it is just the huge economic investments that derive from the materialist view. Indeed, the whole materialist marketplace mentality of technology and science as we know it is threatened by a worldview that tells us of vast realms un unavailable to our direct observation. In fact, as a result of the worldview in which we are embedded, the result of the worldview that we are embedded in is ultimately the destruction of the material playground, the earth itself as a living organism. So now you see why I like um, John Mack so much. He is just a beautiful author, intelligent, has such a, a wonderful uh, vocabulary. I just love reading his work. I love how he writes and I, I love what he writes. What I just read to you makes my heart sore. It suggests that we can be a part of another paradigm where humans are not set above all others where our guns and our greed and our immense hurt is not driving all of the life of earth where there are many there are many other contributors besides just John Mack We've got uh, doctors Whore Talk and Whore Talk, Linda Moulton Howe, who is an investigative journalist, very well known for her work as a ufologist. I see her in almost every UFO documentary or UFO alien documentary that I see on uh, Netflix or any other place. I also watch these things on um, Amazon. So I always see her. Whitley Schreiber um, has a chapter in the book. He, Whitley Schreiber is the first person I ever read that talked about his abductions. I'm pretty sure it was the 80s. It's, and there's also a movie that has the same title of his book. and The movie is based on his book. Um, they're both called Communion. I loved the movie. Uh, Christopher Walken stars in it. 
So there are many other contributors. Some are even outside of my comfort zone and ugh, ugh. but that's okay. This is a, a, a collection of different people and their research and um, their conclusions. Uh, I had so much fun reading it. I learned a lot and um, my thinking was expanded. I don't know what else you can hope for uh, from a book other than to have your thinking expanded. So it was great. I like reading about UFOs and aliens. I think it's a lot of fun. So if you like reading about UFOs and aliens as a possibility, then you will like this book. So this is the end of my time with you today. So I just want to say um, this is my Aunt Effie saying goodbye to you and be happy.